Hey, my beautiful people. So let's go ahead and create a shimmer eyeshadow look today. So today I was like, man, I've been wanting to do a gray shimmer shadow, you know, like smoke it up. I haven't done that in so, so long. And I'm using today the Jaclyn Hill palette right over here. Now this right here intrigued me. I like this nice gray right there. It's like a nice gray silver. I like this. She has shimmer and mans. I love to have a little bit of shimmer in my life. You just got to have that shimmer. I got to. But I'm going to show you what works best for shimmer. So my recommendation is always use the NYX glitter. This the NYX glitter glue is going to be the primer for the eyes. You definitely want to go ahead and apply it. And as soon as you apply this one on your lid, you want to make sure you right away put the shadow on. Because if you don't, then you're losing that concentration of the glue. So you want to go ahead and... You know, just go ahead and apply as so. And I always found using my finger to do this works so much better. So let me go ahead and do the other eyes. And now if you hear a little bit of background noise, that is my son. He's being a little loud over there in the corner. <laughs> but let's go ahead and proceed. All right. So you want to go ahead and put the glitter glue where you want your eyeshadow to be. Like the okay, shimmer, especially just the shimmer. So I'm just gonna put it where I'm gonna put the shimmer in. So, so you're gonna feel like nice and tacky. And when you feel that nice and tacky, you wanna go ahead and go with the shimmer. So I'm gonna use my finger, and you see how look, look how good that looks. Just look how good that looks, you guys. It looks so nice. <laughs> so you see how you could just pat it. Look at this. Just pat it. I love that. Just a little bit goes a long way. I'm telling you, rub your finger a little bit. And then you're gonna okay. go ahead and pat it. Oh, okay, so okay, okay, okay. Uh, I love how this just know. comes out effortless. Uh, okay, well, so you're gonna go ahead and pop it yeah, in as so. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Give me. A All right, my beautiful people. So I had created the shadow right there. So that's gonna be the base. It's gonna be the main pop of color. But look how nice that silver looks. I'm telling you, that silver looks amazing. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to go with Small Town. And Small Town is going to go in the crease that's going to define and kind of give it like the contour look. So I'm going to go Small Town. And now this, I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to pat it just like it's going to be right here, Small Town. So let's go ahead and go. And I'm going to grab my trusty mirror here. So I always got to have a mirror that's really close up so I can really see. Okay. So then you're just going to go... Just honestly, just back and forth. So, and you want to always just dab it a little bit and then work your way and intensify. You don't ever want to go like straight on the bow and just go boom. Because you want to make sure you're able to diffuse any harsh lines. Da, da, da. You see, as it goes, you want to just go ahead and apply. And then just buff it, buff it, buff it. And then that's pretty much what you do. So you want to just go circular motion very lightly. It just makes a difference. So right now you're going to see that it looks like it. I didn't do too much, but a little bit goes a long way with this. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Believe me. All right. So remember brush, buff, buff, buff. And then that's pretty much it. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So bear with me. All right, so I already did both eyes. The next thing I'm going to do is going to go in with Biscuit, which is like this light one right here. Now, this is going to be more to the brown bone because I want it to be more, obviously, natural on the top of the brown bone. So this is going to just kind of like highlight and accentuate the top a little bit and buff everything out so it could, everything could blend in nicely. So, as so. All right, and then pretty much as mm -hmm. so, we're going to do the next one. And this one, you want to just do it, honestly, like, from here to here. You don't want to take it all the way to the front, okay? So, just a little bit. And, like I said, this is going to just highlight the bra bone. So, just naturally, just boom, do that. There we go. Mm-hmm. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. You can never go wrong with silver. I just love the color of silver. Just going to make it pop. You're going to see once I have everything together, you're going to be like, wow, okay, it does make a difference. You got to trust the process. And trust me, anybody could create these looks. I'm telling you, it's just all about practice and, you know, stay confident. You got this. You know, there is no wrong way of doing makeup. It's just having fun with it. And if, hey, if that's what you like, that's what you like. So, all right. So, that is it for that part. Now, 
I'm going to also go underneath my eye and I'm going to go in with TC. Let me see. Do I want TC or I want Buddy? I think I'm going to do Buddy. Let's go with Buddy, which is going to be this deeper gray on here. I'm going to go ahead and kind of, because I want like a little smoky look. So I'm going to go with the bottom. I'm going to tap, tap, tap. And then this is going to be in the bottom of the eye. So, and this is just going to give it that nice smoky, kind of like a smoky little look. So, boom. Let's see. When it comes to shadow, trust me, do not be scared of eyeshadow. Just go a little bit, goes a long way. And do your thing. And I know a lot of people feel like as you age, a certain age, you cannot wear shimmer, you cannot wear glitter. No, you could definitely do so. So don't believe the lies. Believe me, do whatever makes you happy. Life is short. I'm telling you, do what you want to do. I'm telling you, no. All right, so you're going to go ahead and bolt this out. There we go. So, see, that was pretty good. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to do the next. Okay, so now that I did the bottom, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go underneath the lid itself. Now, remember, I did like smoky gray. That's called Buddy. Now I'm going to do the actual black. That's called Because I Said So. Because I said so. I like that. It's funny. Okay, so I'm going to dab into this with just an angle brush. And then I'm going to just go ahead and define that smoky look a little bit more. So I'm going to go just like underneath the lash. Like if I was going to mimic an eyeliner underneath. So that's just going to help define it a little bit more. Remember, you just want to do it like an eyeliner. And just buff it around. And doing it with the eyeshadow, it makes it look more seamless. So it just smooths out. It's nice and focused. So let me do the next one. Okay, now the shadow part is all done. So I might smoke it up a little bit. I'm still trying to think if I want to smoke it up yet or not. But I'm definitely going to go ahead and grab this pencil. And I'm going to do it on the waterline. And then this is going to help give you more of that smoky look. Not everyone could rock a smoky look. I feel like you could just never go wrong. I feel like it's just, it is just so glam of a look. You just can't go wrong. And you could do it with browns. You could do it with purples. You could do it with any color. It's just smoking it up is in the name. All right. So as you can see, you can see a little difference now. Everything is nice and smoky. I love this. So. The next thing I'm going to do, because I'm still debating if I want to smoke it out a little bit more. I think it's going to be the corners. I'm going to smoke that up. I think I am. So I'm going to go ahead and just smoke it up a little bit. So it'll be here. All right. And I'm going to go very lightly. I'm going to go in with Buddy, the one we had before. And then let's see how deep that one gets. I just want to see. Because I don't want to go too, too dark on it. Nope. That's perfect. Buddy is perfect. So in the corner... We're just going to go ahead and buff it up as so. And then, like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Remember, just that very little, and you're going to work it out. And then that's it. And just work it out. Remember, you don't want to drag it all the way to the front. Just technically, when you smoke it out, it's going to be just the corner of it. And that's how it's going to look. You can obviously buff it out more. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this. I'm buffing it out. I'm going to do the lashes, my eyeliner, the whole work. So you guys can see the final results of how it looks. So give me one second. You're going to see the final look. All right, my beautiful people. Now, this is with everything on. I just love the way this shimmer came out. I'm telling you, don't ever be scared of trying out shimmers. Now, I like this eyeshadow palette. But always remember, the main key is going to be the NYX glitter. This is going to be the main key to make that shadow just pop. I have so many people always ask me, how do you make your shimmer just pop and show out? Because they feel like when they put it on, it doesn't look like the same as the paint. My thing is like, use the next one. This works amazing. And some people have tried to use like their concealer and put it in the plaid, but some of it doesn't give you the same consistency. I'm telling you, give it a shot. I hope you guys like the look today. Look at this. Look at this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And like I said, just play with it. Don't be scared to be playing with, you know, shadows and everything else. Jacqueline Hill, in case you guys were interested with shadow palette I was applying, this is it. Highly recommend. And don't forget, you're beautiful no matter what. Bye-bye.